inventory management. I'll no present my screen. This is just actually tas taas pa yun pero ato alang i compress. Okay, we only have a few minutes left. I know you have your class after this. Okay. So, medyo taas taas ang discussion, so ko lang ha, just bear with me. So, we are done actually with the introduction to inventory management and inventory and supply chain management. We will now proceed with the two forms of demand. There are two forms of demand. No? You have the independent and the dependent demand. When we say independent, these are actually finished products already, no? like cars, houses, wherein it's already available no, to be purchased no, or to be released no, for consumption. So, independent demands are demand for items used by external customers. These are like, for example, cars, computers, houses. These are examples of independent demand. Well, if you talk about dependent demand, it's more on the items or the components of the final demand or the oh, final demand, no? For example, the independent demand is the car, but the dependent demand are its parts, no? Like the engine, wheels, no? Um, like, ang kaan niya ang paint, no? Paint job, lights. So, demand for items used to produce final products. So, for example, tires are stored at a plant are an example of a dependent demand item. So, again, how yung gitag independent these are final products that are ready for consumption or to be released, no? Or to be to be sold. While the dependent demand are the components of the independent demand. Wherein, mula na siya dira class, no? Ang kanang mga parts to make the final demand. If it's a house, no? You have um, the parts of the house, no? Or its components like paint, bricks, like cement. No wood, cables, so now proceed with inventory and quality management. So customers usually perceive quality service as availability of goods when they want them. So of course, no dilit lang siya ingon nga quality siya nga product dilit lang with its features alone or its durability. But yung potential ni quality and product if it's always available. No kay we don't know how can we offer a certain product if it's not available all the time. It kakas na lang na tunan na siya sa to mga products offered if dili di siya available always. No? So inventory must be sufficient in order to provide high quality customer service because if our customers would see that every time they call, if there is availability of the products and you say wala, wala, no? Sometimes it could be very frustrating. No, I'm not sure some reason nga, you will lose customers as well. No, because ila malang ala pas availability, especially if they're buying in bulk. No, so mo na imo inventory dapat gina monitor jini mo na siya always. So dira na na masulod ang atong inventory control systems. Pero kaya nang i-discuss right after I discuss the inventory cost. So Part na po na siya, class, if you're going to to operate a business, dili na siya ingon nga, just because you're keeping items in your inventory, it's not costly, no? Or it, it doesn't cost anything. But actually, there are many costs when it comes to, to inventory. No, you have the carrying cost, meaning the cost of holding an item in inventory. So, magbayad ka na, no? Especially if, if you don't have your own storage area. No? If mag-abang ra ka, No? Um, next is ordering cost, no? the cost of re replenishing inventory. Like for example, uh, your some of your products that you sell are almost sold out. Let's say, ato ibotang out of one hundred, no, mahimo na na siya og fifty. So you need to replenish that that inventory in order to also um, provide more products. Na po, no kay, for example, mabalig ka. Nya na ay sinquinta na lang nabilin. Nya wala ka na ka forcing ah. Daghan day mo palit noon, hapit na ka ma sold out. Nya naapay naapay wang mga customers nga gusto mo palit sa mong item, no? So you have to replenish that para mabaligyan po nimo sila, no? So gasto po na siya, no? When you replenish your inventory, no? Kay either you're going to make another product or you're going to purchase, no, the final product, no, to replenish your inventory. Next shortage cost. So an example of that is the temporary or permanent loss of sales when demand cannot be met. 
no so an example anong shortage cost class so, for example imuha mga customers kay 150 nya imuha rang items sa inventory kay 100 no maski ang atong ibutang nga ah dili man na lost on my part kay wala bitaw nako sila na baligyaan lost jo po na siya on your part because supposedly you will be earning 50 more pad should no from the products you'll be selling kay 150 good imong potential customers nya mawala tong 50 no loss of sales kay di naman imo ma-meet ilahang demand kay tungod sa kadagag customers nya gamay ra ang imuhang inventory no or gamay ra ang imuhang mga products na ka-store sa inventory so sayang kay nang opportunity in business class an opportunity lost is still a loss no Kung sa two araw, mo na ta, ah, okay ra na, oy, kung wala ta nakabaligyaan ni nila, sige lang, mubawi ata sunod adlaw. Pero that actually is a, a loss on your part. No? Kay, kalidom ko na sa una, mo na gina nga. Kana ganing ko, ay, kana ganing, karun adlaw, abi, no? Makaginan siya na ta, ni kong dako-dako, kay na ako'y potential customers, mawala pa jud kay tungo dili na ko mabaligyaan sayang kaayo humodjo na siya no so appeal jud po na siya kinsta do 150 mong masel and you'll be earning uh, a lot 100 ra no gamay ra imong hang mako earn ma earn kay nasa proceed to inventory control system so naay duha ka klase no you have you can for the kanon na namo gay barcode system pod so I'll only be discussing uh, this two no the continuous system and the periodic system So the continuous system is the constant amount ordered when inventory declines to a predetermined level. So for example, you have ten items in your inventory, and then maabot agin niya ng three items na lang mabilin. Dira pa kamo palit ng seven. Every time mo mahunong siya at a particular level, like for example, every time maabot siya ng tulo na lang mabilin sa inventory, mo pa nang atay mo palit ka. That's continuous, no? And same quantity or same amount ra ordered every time. No, pero sa nang na ako yung 1,000 kabuok, um, 1,000 kabuok, um, sa so may nga product ha, sa so may ninot nga product, oh, sige, kuan lang, 1,000 kabuok, um, liquor in stock, no, 1,000 pieces, and then, maabot agay yung nag 300, muna ng time nga, mo replenish na pod ko, and then, same amount ra, 700, kabuk bottles. Oh. So, nga, muna siyang continuous system, no? Mabuti ka na sa certain point, na critical level na siya, o. Oh. Ito yung nubo na gani kayo yung muhang inventory dira. Usap pa ka mo order. And same amount siya na always. Mabuti ka nag 300, replenish siya po kag 700. Nga, next na po nga, kung ang daghan ganig mo palit, mabuti na po 300 na mabilin si mong stock, dira na po ka palit o another 700. That's continuous system. Well, ang periodic system is order place for a variable amount after fixed passage of time. For example, every month, makita ni mo, for example, karun nga month, out of 1,000 bottles, ang nabili na lang is 500. So, akong order rin is 500 to replenish para mahimu na po siya 1,000. Next, the following month, ang nabili na lang sa ako ang koan is 300 bottles na lang. So, ma-replenish po kong 700 bottles kay para maabot na po doog 1,000. So, muna ang periodic system nga we're in, na rin specific amount of time we're in, you check your inventory. So, every month ko mag-check or every twice a week to see if pila na nabilin and then if pila na lang ganito ang nabilin, doon nga ganap po na ko. So, dili constant ang amount ngayon mong i-order to replenish. Kaya mag-depende man na, okay, kada month man ka, unlike sa continuous system nga, kung usa pa maabot doog 300, dira pa ka mo order og 700. So, fix na na siya nga amount nga 700 kada hurot na ko sa kong stocks no or hapit na mahurot akong stock pero ang predict system is every month kung for example ang nakuaan ra karon nga month is 500 ra so 500 ra pud akong idungag para may mo 1000 pero sa next month ang nakuha is 700 bottles so 300 na lang nabilin so 700 na pud akong kuaon no, so every month siya so na siya mag fix um time no sa ka mag inventory check and then mag-place ka og variable amount na no, magdepende sa pila yung mabilin every month nga pag-check ni mo sa inventory. Do you get my point, class? We come to inventory control system. Hello? Are you still there? Okay. So, we'll just end here, no? Kamarag na may class 1030.
I hope you are still listening. Okay, so let's continue with economic order quantity or EOQ models. So in EOQ, we want to determine the optimal number of units to order so that when we minimize the total cost associated with the purchase, delivery, and storage of the product. EOQ is important class now because every time that you replenish your your storage or your inventory, unya manima dayno dili di ay mapalitanan, so masayang ra siya. Ito nga uh, masobra na to og palit ba niya nakastock ra siya dito for a long period of time nya di pa siya mapalit masayang ra siya dako pa kita gasto sa delivery di ra di siya ma mahurot tanan og palit no so you have to determine the optimal number of units nga i-order kung pila na to ang demand sa to ang consumers mura pud to ang ato ang i-produce or atong i-order no para sa gunang sa mga online sellers dira no to ibotang sinugdanan kay halin pa man kay mong products daghan jo kay kag stock sa mong inventory daghan kay kag orderan nga products para mong ibaligya kabantay ka nga dinay kay nga nakadaghan mo palit imo na punang pagamya ng imo hangi order or i restock nga orders para dili masayang in kaso nga dili ma mahalin no mo na siya so we start with the basic EOQ model and production quantity model so, ito rin ang i-discuss kanin siya next meeting. Hopefully, we can start early. No, kay we started quite late. Kay I also had, like, ako yung ibuhat po, no? Nag-print po kong module. And then, gamay rin po nang attend rin sa class. So, again, I will not be on Wednesday. I will be on leave. No, kay, nanto siya kung isa, no? Next week, I will be um, attending an international conference. So, if I have the time next week, Monday, so we will continue with EOQ. And then Wednesday, wala na na siya. Okay, 14, 15, 16 among schedule for the conference. So thank you so much, everyone, for listening. I do hope you've learned something from me today, especially in operations management. Inventory management is really quite tricky now, but again, this, this, not, this, is, this not only apply, sorry. This is not only apply to those um, to have big businesses, no? Even kamo nga, go start lang mo small, um, kuan mo, ga, ga online selling lang mo, importante man po na siya, kay para di po mo malugi. Okay? So, thank you so much, everyone. Um, before we will end, let us pray first. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever, Amen. Saint Rita, pray for us in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, goodbye, everyone. Bye, Dom. Bye-bye.